First Peter chapter five, verse two. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, hands down. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regards to people here for a bear now. This video right here was pretty much inspired by the video um, that the Apostle Gabar just did. You know I'm saying what truly motivates us, you know, what's, what's, what's our job? Our job is just to feed the sheep, feed the Israelites, the sheep, all the Israelites. You can read about that in Jeremiah. I think it's um Jeremiah 50 something. Let's see if I can get that right quick. Usually I go right to it, but um, let's see. Bear with me. Let's feed the flock, right? This is Jeremiah chapter 50. The water you have, but I was shy. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 17. Israel. Remember, a people before us a place, right? The so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, right? Israel is a scattered sheep. Now, we just read, feed the flock. Feed the sheep. We're going to feed them with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And we're going to get that too, Lord's will. I want to read this again though, Jeremiah 50 and 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. And basically, that's the point. Just wanted to prove that Israel is that lost sheep, is that scattered sheep, is that flock. So let's go right back. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Feed the flock of the Most High Yah. How about Shim Shai? Now, don't you eat every day? You got to ask yourself. If you know anything about animals, animals got to eat, man. Animals got to eat pretty much every day. You know, the Lord said, the Lord said feed them. We're going to show you what we're feeding you with. According to the Bible, it's all spiritual. The Lord is, let's see if the Lord says set up a soup kitchen. Set up a long ass line where we pass out hot dogs, chicken franks. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Let's read this. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to his mind. We shall feed you. Remember, feed the flock. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Now, you got these false prophets. They're feeding you with lies. And Israel love lies. All right? We we know it already. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you love lies more than you love the truth. So just stop it. So just stop it. The cat's out of the bag. We know already. The Lord revealed unto us exactly how you are, man. You love lies. And we'll get it right here. Isaiah 30. And this lesson is only for the all these lessons that we do. So now with the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down, every lesson that we do is for the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? So all you scoffers and you mockers, fuck you, all right? Excuse my language, but all you mockers and scoffers and non-believers, fuck you. Isaiah 30 and 9. Because this is a year of turn up. The Lord's about to turn up, man, all right? He already killed, wrapped the news, and you got everybody coming on the comment board, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a rest in peace news. Well, he, well, he made the news. How about that, man? He in the news. He made the news. Front line. Died on New Year's, man, and that's a nomen omen. To all you false prophets, man. Teach the truth or die, man. Feed the truth to the nation of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let them know that we need a savior. That's who we waiting on, our Savior. Well, let's read this though, man. Isaiah 39. That this is a rebellious people, meaning the Israelites, right? Lying children, they're always lying. Children that will not hear the law of the Most High. They ain't thinking about the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Would say to the seers, aka the prophets, the seers are the prophets, right? See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us the truth. That's what the majority of our people say. 
They come on our comment boards. Stop teaching us the truth. That's what they're basically saying. When we out there on the highway and byways, when they come up, they're basically saying, stop telling us the truth. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. But look, we're not going to prophesy deceit. We're going to prophesy the truth. That's what we're set up to do. And if you fear your howl by Shimei Abishai, you look, you're going to do the same. <clears throat> And I'm going to be all over the place. A whole lot of precepts coming to my head right about now. So I'm going to be all over the place. Let me get another precept. The job of a prophet is to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh with the truth according to the Bible. This is um, Exodus. Exodus chapter 18 verse 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men such as fear the Most High. You see? If you fear the God of the Bible, if you fear Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, if you fear them, you're going to speak the truth. All right? You're going to speak the truth. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men. Do you not see all hell breaking loose? But you're still feeding our people uh, garbage. You know what I'm saying? Snacks. Ain't fed them no vegetable. Ain't fed them nothing healthy. Just snacks, cupcakes, snicker bars, juju beans, popcorn. Ain't no celery nowhere, you know. No chicken, you know. Just GMOs, snacks, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Such as fear the most high. Men of truth. To remember, truth shall remain. But lying lips is but for a moment. All you liars out there, you're but for a moment, man. You're going to have your day in court. Just hold on. Just hold on. You praying for rap the news. You're going to join them soon come. At least you repent. You'll join them real soon. Real soon. Men of truth hating covetousness. You got a whole lot of Israelites out there. A whole lot of Israelite men. See certain men with, um, with some status or some rank. You know. Or, or whatever they might have. Because to be covetous meaning you want something that belongs to someone else. The Lord said the true men of the Lord are going to hate covetous. Whatever the Lord bless you with, that's yours. We're fine with that. We're fine with that. And place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of ten. And that's being established on the face of the earth because there's a such thing called order. There's a such thing called order. Two thirds, they hate order, man. You know, you know the, the majority of the Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. You, you know they hate order, man. They don't, they don't know the first thing about order, but you're going to get in order. <laughs> you're going to get in order. The scripture say evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving. You, you're believing in somebody you ain't never seen before. You got people coming on the comment boards telling them, um, we're, we're going to follow rap the news. Well, you're going to end up in a damn casket just like his ass then. Father, how the scripture say thine eyes shall see. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to Isaiah, the thirtieth chapter. The Lord wanted this lesson to be edifying. This, this what the scripture said, Israel. You numb nuts. You bug outs. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse twenty. And though the Lord shall give thee, and, and though the Lord shall give you the bread of adversity, and the water of affliction, you gonna catch some hell. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see what? And thy eyes shall see what? And thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Did you see rap the news? Did you see him? He had to buy on a dark damn screen. The scripture say you're going to see your teachers, man. You're going to see your leaders. You gonna see the men that fears Yahweh by Shimei was shy, man. All right, they're not gonna be hiding behind a damn dark screen. You trying to figure out what the hell they look like? Hell, they might look. Hell, Rapper News might fucking look like an alien. Who knows? Who knows what the hell he looks like? But the scriptures say you are gonna see your teachers, man. And thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee saying, "This is the way," because evidently you was going the wrong way. For someone to tell you, yeah, yeah no, no, that ain't the way. Th this is the way. And, and what's the way? Lord Yahweh shot. He says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man coming unto the Father but by me. 
For thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. So our, our only job, man, the hell with all you false prophets, you false teachers, our job is to feed the flock with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And that's the only thing that's going to keep you stable. It's like it for the rambling, you know. Let's get back to the scriptures. First, first Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Feed the flock of the Most High. What are we feeding them with? The word. Daily edification, man. Daily edification, man. Feed the flock of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is among you, taking the oversight, not by constraint, but willingly. And the Lord wants us to do this thing willingly, man. You see? He, look, I mean, remember, our power is not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love, which which we have showed towards the name, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Instant in season, out of season. Remember, preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season, right? Neither as being lords over the most highest heritage, but being examples to the flock. And we got great examples. They had on the earth, on the earth, 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 on the earth right now. They had apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down. Great examples of how to feed the flock. It says, and when the chief shepherd, because the Lord set up shepherds, but the chief shepherd, Lord Yahweh Shai, who the English called Jesus, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, because he's on his way, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away man and that's when the lord come and this is going this is going to happen to the men that was feeding the flock man okay and look and was doing it willingly because it's good you know what the scriptures say uh war is me war is me if i preach not the gospel war is me and matter of fact i want to get that timothy too because we because although we're teaching the truth the majority of the Israelites are going to heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, anything that sounds good. They, they don't care what they, what the person that they listening to, they don't care what the hell they say. But the scripture say, if the blind lead, look, look, leave them alone. If the blind lead the blind, all of them going to fall into a ditch, man. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two, preach the word. Because woe unto me if I don't preach the word. Destruction unto anyone that picks up the Bible and take his hand off the plow. That's what the scriptures say. And look, and the scriptures say, go to the highways and byways and preach the word. You got people crying over rap the news. That man won't on the streets nowhere teaching that man. Hell, nobody didn't know what that man looked like except for his wife, his, his son, and his daughter, man. And his family members. None of you people on YouTube knew what he looked like. Know what I'm saying? Could have looked like a fucking iguana or something, man. Who knows what he looked like? But but the Lord took that scoff and that mark out, and we rejoice each and every day when the Lord takes a mark and a scoff off the planet Earth because He did too much. And you false prophets are doing too much. The last thing you think about is repenting. The Lord need to take you off the Earth, man. What, what good are you doing? All right, you ain't helping nobody. You killing our people with lies. Second Timothy four and two, preach the word. What word? The words of the Bible. The Old Testament and the whole book, man. The Lord said, I come in the volume of the book. Following a guy that said he doesn't believe in the Messiah, man. He doesn't believe in a Savior. He can save himself. Did he save himself? Did he save himself, man? All right? Numb nuts, you bug outs. Instant in season, out of season, reprove. Meaning correct, rebuke. Use harsh language, Adam, if you have to, curse them out, so-called. Exhort with all long suffering, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Our people don't want to hear the truth. Only thing we're giving them is the truth. And only thing your false prophets, your leaders is giving you is lies. But the scriptures say what? That there's no truth in the lie, man. Matter of fact, let's get down. I'm going to come right back. Let's just get down. Like I said before, I'm going to be all over the place. Lord willing, it'll, it'll come full circle, Israel. The Lord said, no lie is of the truth. The, uh, and then the scripture said, the truth is the only thing that's going to set you free. Our people haven't been set free yet. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 21. And it reads, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. 
and that no lie is of the truth. So, see, we know the truth. So we can tell when someone is teaching lies. You numb nuts out there. You buck outside there. Y'all can't tell when someone's telling a lie. But we can. And it's all giving credit, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how will by Hashem Yahweh shot? You see? For giving us a spirit of discernment. To know who's who's serving you, how about Shem Yahusha, and who ain't. This on it's on you Israelites out there to, to, to pray and to discern who's teaching the truth and who ain't. We ain't killing ourselves trying to make you believe that we're teaching the truth. Nah, man. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is um Malachi chapter 3 and um 18. Then shall ye return. And discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and him that serveth is like him, and and him that serveth him not. It's on you Israelites to be able to discern who's the wicked of our people, and who's the righteous of our people, who's serving the Most High and who ain't. You pray for discernment to be able to tell, because we we already look, we we know already. You see, we are, we know already. So let's go back. Second Timothy chapter four, verse three. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine. Our people don't want to hear the truth. But after their own lusts, after their own desires, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and wrap the news. He was just one among many. You know, anything to scratch that itch, man. You, you don't care what a person tell you, you'll believe them. Ain't doing no research, ain't searching the scriptures or nothing. How, how the hell you going to believe in a savior, but you're going to follow a dude that says there's no savior. There's no Messiah. You people are gone, man. You people are really through. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Because that's the only thing we're feeding you with. The scriptures say, feed them with the truth, man. But they're going to turn their ears away from hearing the truth. And shall be turned into fables, man. This dude teaching about a planet called hell. This dude was preaching a, a doctrine of death. You know what I'm saying? He, he wasn't preaching a doctrine of repentance. You know. So if you take a drink, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you sip some wine, you know what I'm saying? Or some liquor. Look, look. You, you, you condemn. You're damned forever. Come on, man. And you got people bugging out because this dude is gone. You, 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 it's right. Do you not understand? L listen to yourself. You're bugging the hell out because this mocker, this scoffer, this false prophet is gone. Damn that man. Damn him and damn anybody like him, man. And the hell with all you women is following that numb nut. You bug the hell out too, man. And the Lord gonna judge you. At least you repent, man. A, a, a strict warning. We're, we're here to feed the flock. L -l Let's read on, though. L Plus, man, you people don't know nothing about the secrets of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You can't get it, man. The Lord don't want you to get it. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is Romans. What is it? Romans? Nah, it's um, Corinthians. Second Corinthians, right? Let's see. Bear with me. See if we can get this right quick. The hell with you numb nuts, man. Our job is just to keep, just keep teaching the gospel, man. The hell with these people. Um, let's see. First Corinthians four and three, right? Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three, and it reads, But if our gospel mean the good news, if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost. So the majority of our people, you still lost. Even though you know you are Israelite, you still lost in the salt. You don't know it. You still drunk off that wine. You still drunk off that wine, man. You don't know what the hell going on. You don't know what the hell going on. You probably celebrated New Year's Eve and everything, man. You probably celebrated Christmas and everything. Just shut the hell up. Straight up. No one wants to hear you. This is Sirach 39. Bear with me. Sirach chapter 39. Let's see. Sirach chapter 39, verse 7, and it reads... He shall direct his counsel and now let's see. Let's see where I want to start at. Uh, I start I start at six. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences. Talking about the men of the Lord, right? 
the prophets, and give thanks unto the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. And that's exactly what we do. We meditate on the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Because remember, truly the Lord power will do with nothing, but he revealeth his secrets into his service. The prophets, man. And, and, and the scriptures say uh, the Lord uh, revealed the secrets unto those that fear him. You see, the majority of the Israelites, the men, the majority of the Israelite men don't fear the Lord. That's why you don't have the secrets. You know you bug the hell out when you're saying it ain't a, it ain't a, it ain't a savior. You you know you bug all the way to hell out when you run around talking about it ain't a savior, man. Let's get this. Psalms 25 and 14. The secret of the Lord. The mysteries, the secrets, the parables, the deep dark sayings. The mysteries of the Bible, the secret of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. So you're wondering why you can't get the secrets, you men out there, you don't get the secrets. Because you don't fear the Lord and you're, and you're probably a two-third, you know. You're probably a two-third, man, all right. Let's go back to the scriptures. Because once again, we're feeding our people with the bread of understanding. The knowledge, wisdom, once again, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, that's what's going to keep us stable. I might as well get that right quick. Might as well. All hell breaking loose. And you false prophets still teaching lies. Lying about what the MOTB is. Talking about the Lord ain't have no color or either you don't believe in the Lord. You people are through, man. You see? Let's get this. Isaiah 33. And six and wisdom and knowledge. That's what we're feeding our people with. It, look, look, it ain't on us if you don't take heed. It's not on us. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that's plain. The only thing that's going to keep you stable is the truth according to the Bible, not lies. <clears throat> You Israelites has been taking heed, you know what I'm saying, to lies and been holding on to lies. You're going to bug the hell out when judgment comes. When all hell breaks loose, because look, remember, the truth shall set you free. Not a lie, man. When, when, when all hell breaks loose, look, you're going to see. You're going to see. I, I do want to get this, though. This is um First Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Bear with me. Cause ain't nothing rehearsed, and I'm gonna just bring out a couple more scriptures, and I'm gonna wrap it up. Just want, just um, I, I was watching um, Apostle Gobar's video, and it prompted me to do something real quick through the spirit of how about Shimmy I was shy. This is um, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse um, eleven, and for this cause the Most High Yahweh, by Shimmy I was shy, shall sing them strong delusions, that they shall believe in a lie. Look, you, you, the majority of you is like you two turds. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, got you up on, on the strong delusions, man. Got you thinking that something is true when it's fake as hell, man. Got you believing in lies, man. You see? Strong delusions, man. That they should believe a lie. And that they all might be damned, condemned, who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. And that's the majority of our people. They take pleasure in unrighteousness, man. And the Lord said, look, that they all might be damned that, that believe not the truth, man. That they all might be damned. That they all might be damned. Because the scripture say great misery is coming upon the earth. You see, all those that despise the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai shall be condemned, man. You know. I, I got like, I'm going to bring out like two more scriptures and then I'm, I'm going I'm to wrap it up. Remember, the Lord said, let your light shine, man. Let your light show shine. Uh, let's see, John. Let's get Saint John right quick, and I'm about to wrap it up. Saint John. Let's see. Saint John, chapter twenty-one, verse fifteen. So when they had died, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, 
Fimashi. He said unto him the third time. Remember, the third time is the charm. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh I said unto him, feed my sheep. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. Feed the sheep. Go to the highways and byways. Remember, your eyes shall see thy teachers, man. Remember, the Lord said, Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe is me if I preach not the gospel, man. Our labor is not in vain, Israel. Our labor is not in vain. You see? So I ain't going to be the dead horse. Man, look, look. Fishing season ain't over yet. We still fishing now. Fishing season is not over, Israel. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Feed the flock. Feed the sheep. Shalom.